Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In the last couple of days, there is a very high chance that you might have heard about GitHub Copilot. What is Copilot? Copilot, as GitHub suggests, you are AI pair programmer. So uh, it's an artificial intelligence powered code suggestion for your code editor. So currently, it works with GitHub Code Space. So if you want GitHub Copilot, so there is only one way you can get it where you have to sign up for their access. So you are going to be put on a waiting list. So this is one waiting list. Also, GitHub Copilot works on code space, which means you need to have code space access as well, which a lot of people do not have. Okay, so if you do not have access to any of these things, but still you want to get a flavor of how Copilot works, then you have got a chance with uh, an open source library, which is called Captain Stack. So Captain Stack is, um, I wouldn't say necessarily an alternative, but yeah, it's it's like uh, uh, it will give you a flavor of GitHub Copilot. So where Copilot actually works based on artificial intelligence, Captain Stack works purely from Stack Overflow. So it gets the code that you want from Stack Overflow. So Captain Stack, uh, formerly known as Copilot clone, that's a repository name, has been developed by uh, Hugh Nguyen. So thanks to Hugh Nguyen, Jack, I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but um, I really respect your work. Thank you so much for making it open source and public. So Captain Stack is quite uh, easy for you to set up, but may not be very obvious for you to set up if you're looking at the repository for the first time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own Captain Stack within your VS Code Insider and then you can also get suggestions similar to GitHub Copilot. Before we proceed further, I want to show you a quick demo about what are you going to achieve in this video. So GitHub Copilot, like GitHub Copilot, Captain Stack works like this. So you type something in English and then you wait and then it's going to give you suggestions. So you can go through the suggestions, you can say next, 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 next. And then whichever you like, you can say accept and then you're going to see that final code uh, available for you ready. So this code directly comes from Stack Overflow. So this is what we are going to achieve in this video. So for us to do this thing, we need two important things. The first thing that we need is we need Visual Studio Code Insiders. This is different from Visual Studio Code. You can see the green color logo. So Visual Studio Code Insiders is like the development version or nightly version of Visual Studio Code. So the first thing is you need Visual Studio Code Insiders. The second thing is you need Node.js and NPM installed on your machine. So if you're going to try this out, make sure that you have got Node and NPM, NPM installed on your machine. Also, you have got VS Code Insiders on your machine. Okay, now that we know that you have got all these things like uh, NPM, Node.js and VS Code Insider set up on your machine. Let's see what should we do to get it done on your local machine. So Captain Stack, for you to get Captain Stack, first of all, copy the copy the um, GitHub repository URL and then open your terminal. In my case, I'm going to show you uh, the terminal from VS Code, but you can open any terminal that you want um, like this. And then wherever you want the folder to be, go git clone and then put the terminal, uh, the repository name. So once you press enter, it's going to copy this entire repository and then download it to your local machine. So you can either download it from the web interface and do it, but this is like more sophisticated way. Uh, and I assume like a lot of programmers prefer doing this way because you don't have to zip and unzip it. I'm not doing this because I've already got this repository. Once you're done with that step, once you're done with git clone, the next thing is you have to enter into the repository. So now at this point, you would have a repository called Copilot clone and the place where you uh, cloned it. Once this is done, you have to enter into it and then do npm install. When you do npm install, it's going to download everything. Like it's going to install all the required libraries for this particular extension, uh, VS Code extension to work. So npm install is the next important step for us to do. After you do npm install, uh, now that we have set it up, like code wise, we have set it up. Uh, we, uh, now the next step is you have to open your VS Code Insider and then you have to open the Copilot clone repository. So Copilot clone repository or the folder should be opened with VS Code. So you can see that uh, the code uh, as a folder, you have to open it. After you do that, there are a couple of options for you to proceed. One option is you can click run extension Copilot clone or you can go to run and then say start debugging. And once you do that, it's going to open a new new VS Code environment. You can see like when you go there, you can actually see, uh, yeah, let me click run extension. You can see that the extension is getting, it's being run and then it, it actually opens a new um, new VS Code uh, insider window for you. 
So just go open a new file, select a language, uh, JavaScript. Uh, I think it works only with JavaScript, JavaScript. And then you can say uh, slash slash find. Let me just say uh, how to sort numbers in Python and then type dot and then wait for magic to happen. I hope it happens. Yeah, you can see that magic has started happening. So you hover your mouse on it and then you would see a uh, result. Now in, in our case, like we have more than one result, so we can go next and then accept it. So the thing is, it doesn't simply work only with Python. It works with any other language as well. Uh, so let me quickly show you one more example. Find ggplot bar chart color in R and then enter and again wait for the magic to happen hopefully it happens um, okay it, it it didn't happen in this case uh, we have next 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 okay it didn't work out so let's try another example let's let's make it more english how to make ggplot bar chart in r let's see this uh, it's just you know, okay so you got how to make ggplot bar chart next let's see next 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 yeah it, it it gives us the code okay so now let's try one more thing um how to create a random forest model in python and see what happens okay it doesn't show much random forest yeah now you are the entire code so this is like you press tab you have the entire code ready for you so now you can just simply copy create a new python file and save it or you can even say change this to like python and then you can start executing it so basically uh what we saw is like an, a good example of how github copilot works uh, and you can see the demo also like uh, like i said before it's not necessarily the same thing because like like one is a multinational company uh, huge amount of data, artificial intelligence. The other one is a very, uh, you know, kind hearted developer who has uh, made it open source for us to try it out. So Captain Stack has really good potential. Uh, how it's going to improve, I do not know. So there is no roadmap uh, from the developer. But again, like I said, like, this is really fun to see how coding can be improved and, um, you know, how, how much it can help us to code faster, easier without even leaving our editor, which is something that uh, I, I think almost every programmer would like. So this video, I think, I hope uh, it would have helped you in set up Captain Stack for your own VS Code Insider. Just to quickly recap, so first step is download or clone Captain Stack repository. Second step is after you get into the repository, like CD Captain Stack, uh, sorry, CD Copilot clone, uh, npm install, after you do npm install, you have to open this folder, which is on your machine using VS Code Insider. And then you have to say, run uh, the extension, either say run extension or go to the run and then start debugging. And then it's going to open a new window where you can open your JavaScript file and then slash slash find and then type whatever you want and then end with the dot and then wait for it. You would see the result and you can hover your mouse on top of it and then find uh, new results. And this is really fun. I hope this was helpful to you. And once again, thanks to Jack um, for making this amazing library and making it open source for us. I really appreciate um, your effort in making this library. And I hope everybody would appreciate it. And if you really want to appreciate it, go to the GitHub repository, give a star just like this. And also uh, give a shout out to Jack on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever you are. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe, give a thumbs up. Or share your thoughts with me and I hope uh, we all can become a better developer or better coder with this thing. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Take care.